Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Cincy Game Hunting, and this week I want to talk to you guys again about GameStop. I promise you guys I will have a hunting video here sooner or later. I've actually got one about 80% cut right now, but uh, I came across some information today and I wanted to let you guys know about it. Uh, first of all, there's a deal that popped up uh, that I totally missed on. Uh, it started earlier this week, and I guess it's going on until like next week, I think, on Saturday. I think the 23rd is the last day for this deal. And I'm gonna show you on the computer here real quick what I'm talking about. So if you go to GameStop.com, scroll down a little bit. Uh, one of these side menus here, not this one. You'll see it pop up on the screen, here it is. Get $50 uh, towards any game, $39 and up. So you click on this little tab here to see the list of games that are available for this deal. Um, only certain games, are a part of this deal so you got to click on the thing to find the list there you go so here's the list of games I'll give you the I'll we'll go through the grid view real quickly here first kind of give you an idea of what games are available to pair for this deal this is the kind of deal they did for tears of the kingdom where they had a list of games that you could trade towards tears of the kingdom to get $50 off of that game I did that for that game as well but this is for any new game it doesn't have to be the ones they're showing on the screen here uh, it can be any new game that they're available for $39 and up so uh, first of all let's go through the games that you can trade now some of these games you'll see on here are actually higher than the $25 per game I'm not sure how they work that because um, this is apparently their most wanted list um, and uh, yeah uh, some of the games will show up for more than $25 so I'm hoping in theory that they will honor the higher price but in this GameStop we don't know what they're gonna pull sometimes all right so looking at this list it's in alphabetical order some of them are kind of weird the list view each, uh, has them in different orders but uh, they are all the same on the list view and the grid view um, first of all, we got Advanced Wars, Bayonetta Origins, a lot of these are newer games, but Crypt of the Necro Dancer, uh, the Cadence of Hyrule, that's kind of an older game. It only normally gives you $11, so that's another one that's good for, you know, a good uh, bump in trade credit by putting that in for the $25 in trade credit. <coughs> um, Modern Warfare games, I've actually found this one a couple times uh, in pawn shops, so keep your eyes open there. Uh, you never know when you're going to find one of these random games in a pawn shop. Uh, the Modern Warfare Remastered for PlayStation 4, that's another one that's kind of an older game. Uh, can easily be found at a pawn shop if you're looking for it. Cooking Mama, random one. Um, I remember there was a Cooking Mama game on Switch, I believe, that was kind of hard to come by because they either short printed or they stop making it because of some reason or other I don't remember for sure uh, crash 4 is an easy one to find a lot of times um, Captain Toad a ton of them out there <coughs> uh, dang and romp of three doesn't have a price I don't know if that one just got taken off or if it's being added uh, these the lists could change I've heard from week to week so I would check again on Sunday to see what games are available on this list uh, some of these games also are they price chart for more than a certain amount so I would always say my rule of thumb is if a game price charts for a certain price and if you cut it in half and that's what the normal trade credit is for most stores that are mom and pop shops if GameStop's offering more than what that price would be go with GameStop if not go with the mom and pop store so uh, like games like Deadpool I think is like around a 40 50 dollar game depending uh, it could be right on the ball for you know the half of whatever the trade credit is. I know a lot of folks are going to say, "Well, why don't you just sell it on eBay?" Um, this is the, the point of this is that some people don't want to go through the hassle of eBay; they just want to trade their games in to get new games. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, I, I appreciate everybody that wants to sell their stuff on eBay and marketplace and whatnot, but I don't like dealing with the hassle of it. It's I'd rather just trade my games and get more games. So <clears throat> um, let's move on here. Dead Space relatively new game it's kind of weird that only 15 17 dollars for uh normal trade cost but you get 25 dollars like i said if you trade it in with this deal ah uh, let's see another older game ea sports ufc4 i see that game in pawn shops all the time so that's another one you'll be able to find pretty easily if you're looking for it um 
uh, Pikachu and Eevee. I think Pikachu's down here farther too, but that's another one that's, I don't know if it's really worth the trade. I mean, I think you can get it for $40 in most game stores. So it's about, it's $25 is more than half, I guess. Let's load a couple more here. Going down the line, Forza Motorsport 7. The new one's coming out soon, so if you have the uh, Xbox One game, you might want to consider trading that because uh, it might lose its value fairly quickly once the new game comes out. Uh, a lot of modern games in here. Uh, some of these games, I think, they had lowered the price back down because they realized that they probably were selling them, or the trade values were higher than the $25, and I think they lowered a couple up down. Um, a couple of these are older ones. Uh, the Hyrule Warriors games I see a lot of times out and about. And remember, GameStop will take... Um, loose games in. So if you have a loose Switch cartridge that you found somewhere at a, you know, a flea market or whatever the heck, um, they will take those in that way. Going down here, now there's a couple Kirby games. Jump Force is one you see a lot on the Switch and up in, in pawn shops and stuff like that. Um, I got this one, I'm not trading it, but I got this one over at Meyer the other day for around $18. So it was actually one of my Meyer clearance deals that I found. Um, here's some of the games that I ended up trading in. And the funny thing is, I actually picked these games up in the video that's coming out fairly soon, but I've already played them both. So I'm kind of like, all right, I'm, I played what I wanted out of them. Uh, Ultimate Alliance 3, I found a loose copy of it in my hometown for $10. Um, played it. Not a big fan of the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. I, I, I'd give it a, figured I'd give it a try because it's a more modern version, but uh, it's very repetitive and not really my deal. Uh, but the other game I, I traded in was Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Um, another thing, kind of an X, kind of like the XCOM games. If it's if your style, if you like the strategy of, of playing the XCOM style of games, these are actually pretty fun. But uh, I, I get wears on me pretty quickly. I tried playing it for about a, a two hours or so, and I, once again, it felt very repetitive. I'm like, oh, you're starting a battle and you're hiding behind things and shooting people. It is what it is. Um, okay, here's the first instance I've seen. Mario Party Superstars is listed as $33 in trade credit. So, I'm hoping in theory, and same thing with Mario Kart next to it, it's $29. I'm hoping in theory they will give you more, but I would say if you plan on bringing one of those in, have a backup plan just in case they are planning on just making it $25. I don't see why they would, but like I said, cover your butt. It's better to do it that way. Uh, some more games. Uh, the Show 22. Another game, probably somebody's got the newer game, they might as well trade the old one in. That'll get you 25 bucks. Uh, the Octopath Traveler games, I believe both in here. Yeah, the first one's down here too. Uh, there's Pikachu. The Pikmin games are both in here, but like I said, Pikmin 2 is, or Pikmin, Pikmin 4, excuse me, is a $33 game, so watch yourself on that one. Um, but yeah, like a lot of the Pokemon games, of course, they're going to want the Pokemon games. Uh, then we're moving along. We're getting close to the end. S's are here. Uh, Rocket League, isn't that a free game? I don't know why. I mean, maybe you get some points with it like they do with the, the Fortnite ones. Ah, uh, let's see. These are all kind of recent. The Jedi Fallen... Oh, actually, Jedi Fallen Order on the PS5 is actually an older game. Only $9 normally, so that's a good uh, bump in uh, trade value if you end up finding a copy of that for cheap. Uh, and you already played it, or if you haven't played it, who knows, you know? Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's another one. It's another get $25 for that. It's a, definitely a good deal for trading that in. Uh, <laughs> Mario for 3D All-Stars. We all knew that one was going to go up in price, but, uh, they're offering 38 and trade for it. I think the going rate for it now is around 80 maybe? I don't know. Um, I kept my copy because it's one that's going to stay in the collection probably forever, so... Uh, let's see, Street Fighter just came out, I figured that one's, I figured that one would be higher for some reason. Um, a lot of the base Nintendo Switch games like Odyssey, Mario Party, uh, Smash, Mario uh, Maker, all those will be in the 25 range too. 
and then we're getting towards the bottom. We got Spider-Man games. This was expensive as heck for a while. I'm not, I haven't checked the recent price on it, but the Xbox Amazing Spider-Man 2 was running close to 100 bucks at one point. So I would keep an eye on price charting to see if it's actually more valuable than, than what the $25 trade credit would be. If it's, like I said, the rule of thumb I always have is if it's if the GameStop trade-in credit is more than half of what price charting is, I think it's a good deal. All right, moving towards the bottom here, we got the Zelda games, Witcher on both Switch and um, PS5. Uh, Transformers Devastation, that's one that you can see find fairly often at a pawn shop if you get lucky. Uh, it's definitely one of those things where um, you, you don't know what you're going to see, but like it's a gets in time an older game, so you might going to catch that one for cheap. And here we get to the bottom, Xenoblades and Yoshi's uh, Crafted World. And then a couple of more modern or more recent uh, WWE games. So, wanted to get that out there. Uh, trade two games in for fifty dollars off of a game. Um, I ended up picking up one of the new um, Legend of Heroes <laughs> Trails games. Uh, I think it's Trails of Reverie, Revere. I, I'm gonna bunch that up. But, uh, is what it is. Um, is a new trail game on PS5, um, and uh, I picked that up for technically $10 because I traded in those two Switch games loose and got $50 off of it. So, brand new game. Like I said, it's only for new games, though. Will not work on pre-owned. And the game has to be at least $40. So, you can, and, and I guess whatever overages you have, say like you find a $40 new game you wanted to get, any of the overages, they'll give you on a trade card or a gift card, whatever, to have for your next purchase. So... All right, moving on from that. The main reason you probably clicked on this video is because the retro gaming aspect. Let's go into the retro stuff. Now, we saw earlier that the uh, in the video we did last time that they listed retro consoles as a possibility of being available soon. And like I said, I had mentioned that I had heard from a couple of GameStop managers that they were talking about quarter four, they were gonna start taking them in and putting them in stores. Well, I found out today from a GameStop that they have taken them, they're taking them in as of last week. So they didn't really make any announcement about it. So I, maybe they did on their Twitter page or something like that and I just didn't see it, but they are currently taking in retro consoles. Everything back to, I believe, NES. Um, all, the, all the Segas, Nintendos. I'm not sure if Master System was in there. That's the one I forgot to ask about. Um, but I did get a whole list of what they're offering for them and what they're selling them for. So stick to me for a second here. I'll get into that in one second. But everything Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, and Sega from Nintendo, NES on up. So let's get into that real quick here. I kind of give you guys a rundown of what we have to work with. First of all, we're going to start in PlayStation. Uh, PS1, the original PS1, you will only get $18 in trade credit for it. Those things aren't that, not that valuable in the first place, but uh, I think they said they were going to sell them for around $60. I think the basic what to expect for these for trade credit is about one third of what they will sell it for. It's kind of what I noticed when I was getting the information. Uh, PS1 Slims are $21 uh, to trade in. They are going to sell them for $70. Uh, and they actually had the PS1 Classic, the uh, little mini console that they came out with. Uh, they had that one for $15 for trade-in, and they're going to sell it for around $50. So, little food for thought. Um, yeah, you know you're not going to get big money for these. Most of these uh, that I'm going to announce here are all going to be around, you know, between $20 to $40 that they're going to offer in trade credit. PS2. The fat model, you can get $24 for it, and they will sell it for $80. The PS2 Slim is $27, and they sell it for $90. So, uh, once again, it's not really great margins. Like I said, anybody can sell their stuff on a private market for the full price. You may even get more at, a, at a, your local retro store, and honestly, you probably will. But this is me just trying to give you guys the information to let you know what is available and what they are taking in. Uh, for PlayStation 3, uh, the Fat Boys, I think they're getting, uh, giving like 24 to 30. Now, 
I don't think they're giving a bonus amount for the backwards compatible ones, so definitely watch out for that. Don't don't try to trade in a backwards compatible because you're not going to get a boost and pay for that. Um, the slims are looking more like around $33, I think they said, and the super slims around $39, I think, for the 500 gigabyte models. Um, and they're going to sell them all between $80 and $130, depending on which model you're talking about. All right, now we get into the 360 stuff. Um, actually, let's go to OG Xbox first. OG Xbox, they're going to actually offer $30 for it, which is actually a lot, considering that OG Xboxes aren't really that expensive in the first place. They're offering $30 in trade credit. Remember, all these for cash is going to be way lower. I mean, you're probably going to get like $15 cash for an OG Xbox or $20. I'm not even sure what their actual number is. For some reason, it's not on the website. Uh, I tried looking for it. Maybe it will be by tomorrow. I could be, uh, you know, mis misspeaking this, but I looked for it the other day or today and I didn't see any of them anywhere so going into the 360 uh, the regular 360s I think were just around $24 they're gonna offer for them the slims between 27 and $33 depending on the size of hard drive and whatnot um, and the 360 E's between 30 and $36 and I think they're gonna sell between 80 and 120 depending on the model and whatever you got to remember all these you're gonna have to have all the cords too you can't just bring in a console and be like here you go they're not gonna give you anything for that probably and you got to make sure you probably bring a controller with it too so don't just bring us a console in and be like oh why are you not taking it you got to have a controller they don't they usually don't take a console without a controller so and another thing I don't know I didn't ask I should have asked when I was there um, what they're offering for individual controllers. I don't know if they're taking them in yet, so I can't give you a definitive answer on that, so I apologize, but we'll get to that later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask again when I get a chance to go in and talk to them. All right, Nintendo consoles. The NES, they're offering $30 in trade credit for. I didn't ask about the uh, top loader. Uh, I don't think they had more than one SKU, so, um, but they are gonna be selling them for around $100, so. The Super Nintendo are offering 33 for a trade and trade credit, and uh, they're selling them for 110. Uh, N64, this is a really low ball. <laughs> I would stay away from this. N64, they're only offering $21 for, and they're going to sell them for 70. So I might be able to get a decent deal on buying a 64 up from them. Um, GameCube, they're only offering $18 for GameCube apparently. And apparently they didn't have a SKU for it to sell, so I don't know what they're gonna sell it for, but being that it's taking them in for $18, I can't imagine it being more than 50 or 60 bucks they're gonna sell them for. So you might be able to get a good deal buying one from them. Uh, let's see, Game Boys, OG Game Boys, the big brick one, is around $24 they're gonna offer, and then uh, they're gonna sell them for about 80 bucks. Uh, the other Game Boys, for some reason, they didn't have a SKU number for, but they did have a trade number for. And, she said, and the employee that I did talk to said they're, they're sending everything in. So everything they get in, they're going to have to send into the warehouse. Uh, probably just to be, I mean, in theory, cleaned um, and refurbished. I say that in quotes because who knows what they're actually going to do with them. Um, but uh, I guess they're going to redistribute them after they've been sent out. And they can kind of like give each store a little bit of a, have a supply. I think they're going to probably collect a lot of this for a while until it gets closer to like, the holiday season and they're probably going to post a lot of them online and probably put some of the stuff in stores once they get the store situation figured out where they're going to put all this stuff. Um, the GB, uh, GB Pocket, $24 they're going to offer for it. Game Boy Color, $24. Game Boy SP, the Game Boy Advance SP, $30. The Game Boy uh, Advance Micro, is going to be $45 for trade-in and they were gonna sell it for $150. Of course, that's a little bit more of a rare console or a little handheld, I mean. Um, I think it's really around $200, I think, that they're going for on price charting, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, the Vita, they're gonna start taking Vitas again uh, for $45 and they're gonna sell them for $150 again. <clears throat> uh, sorry, go back to Nintendo again here. We'll get uh, the Wii's, they're gonna sell they're gonna buy Wii's for $18 for the basic model with a, without, without Motion Plus. They're kind of ex making them as Motion Plus or not Motion Plus. So a regular Wii, they'll take it in for $18 for the regular controller um, and then sell it for 60. 
If you have a Motion Plus accessory on the bottom of it, like the little adap adapter, it'll they'll give you $24 for it, and $80 will be the, what they sell it for. And if you have a Motion Plus controller that has the built-in Motion Plus, they'll give you $27 for the whole kit and caboodle. It's kind of an interesting way to make to set that up, but uh, whatever. And I guess the Wii Mini, the little one that doesn't have any um, backwards compatibility or anything. You only get 24 bucks for it, but uh, it sells for around 80. Um, the Wii U, the white model, they'll give you 34. They sell for 100. The black model, the 32 gigabyte, will be 36 dollars, and they'll sell it for 120. Uh, I guess the Zelda one, they're still selling it or in trading. And they're buying them and selling them for the same price as the regular 32 bit or 32 gigabyte Wii U. All right. <clears throat> All right. Moving on to Sega. Sega Genesis, they are lowballing these hardcore. I mean, granted, Sega Genesis, I guess, aren't that valuable in the first place. Sega Genesis first model is $21 in trade credit. The Genesis 2 is only $14 in trade credit. And the Sega Genesis 3 is $18 in trade credit. So they're going to sell them for between $50 and $70. So the most bang for your buck you're going to get is with the OG original Gen 1 Sega Genesis. Saturns and Dreamcasts, they're not offering hardly anything for them. <clears throat> Both of them only offering $30 a piece in trade credit. Um, they didn't actually have a SKU for Saturn, so they're probably just taking a bunch of them in and maybe putting them on the website later. And Dreamcast, I guess they're selling them for $100. I think that is it, guys. Um, just wanted to give you guys a heads up to let you know what to expect, and you can currently take your retro consoles into GameStop. I don't think they're going to be selling them in store right away. Like I said, they're, they're, from what I've heard, they got to send all of them in when they get them in. So um, don't expect to see a bunch of random retro consoles right away, but you might see some popping up within the next couple of weeks here once they've gone through the process of getting stuff traded in. That's all I got for you guys. I appreciate you coming out. Like I said, we're going to have another uh, game hunting video soon. I'm, I've got one in my editing software ready to go when I get a chance. Uh, I'm about 80% done with it, and I was actually planning on trying to muscle through it tonight, but uh, I wanted to get this information out to you guys, so we'll probably try to get that uh, that other video edited and have you get to you guys pretty quickly here. But uh, yeah, GameStop, they're continuing on with the retro push. Uh, I've been seeing some other games showing up um, on the... Uh, in the drawers and stuff like that a lot of them are still not putting them out for people to see i have seen some more stores starting to put the disc based stuff on the shelf i actually saw a copy of uh the wii sports club for the wii u it's another kind of a harder to find title i saw it on the shelf at a store recently so uh keep your eyes open like i said if you have some uh bunch of old cluttered uh consoles sitting around you know like an old og xbox you can probably get some decent value for that couple old Wii's sitting around with an extra controller and cords maybe get some value for those as well and you gotta figure they might have some trade bumps in the in the holiday season coming up too so keep your eyes open for that but until next time guys I appreciate it as always if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you haven't subscribed yet you can do that as well and until next time keep hunting